All right, this is Bill After reporting. Devante, tonight it's going to be you at the Wells Fargo Center against Jushi Thunder Liger. Why don't you tell you millions of fans out there what's going to happen? Uh, what's going to happen is, you know, I'm going to have a classic five-star match with Jushin Liger. Have a lot of respect for that legend. You know, he influenced me. He influenced the people I look up to. But, uh, you know, I had to put that to the side when it comes time to wrestle. So, Liger, utmost respect. But, you know, I'm taking this one home tonight. And it's in my hometown, man. You know what it is. So, All salute. right. It's going to be in Philadelphia. We'll see you at the matches. What up, D Prime 215 here. Now, I know you probably know me primarily for music, which makes sense because that's what I do for the most part, but I'm also a pretty big wrestling fan. And uh, this past weekend, I was able to go to uh, New York City. I was there for WrestleMania, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and Ring of Honor G1 Supercard, and WrestleCon. Uh, had a great time there. And uh, one of the uh, highlights of that trip was the opportunity to meet Jushin Thunder Liger. Um, goes without saying, one of the most innovative wrestlers ever. Uh, I mean, he came up with the Shooting Star Press, so I don't even think I need to explain any further, but I digress. Uh, I've been a fan of Jushin Liger since I started watching wrestling, so I'd say like 2003, 2004. Um, at the time, like Liger wasn't doing a lot of uh, US television, so like this is after WCW, but I learned of Liger primarily through watching um, YouTube videos and getting Pro Wrestling Illustrated magazines, seeing what he was doing in New Japan Pro Wrestling, his matches in Pro Wrestling Noah as well. And in about 2005, 2006, he did a few matches with uh, the company TNA, wrestling Samoa Joe. I think he had a match or two against uh, PD Williams as well in the World X Cup. So huge fan of Jushin Thunder Liger. He influenced the people I look up to. You're talking about Chris Jericho. You're talking about Rey Mysterio. Like, and even up to now, look at like a Ricochet or a Will Ospreay, like Liger's influence is like, it, it's, it's larger than life really. So the opportunity to meet Jusha Thunder Liger was amazing. Aside from that, uh, while I was in New York uh, this past weekend, I was able to go to WrestleCon. At WrestleCon, I met another legend, uh, Bill Aftert, just one of the most legendary uh, wrestling personalities and journalists of all time. And, uh, I'm late, but I didn't know he lived in the same hometown as me. We're both from Philly, so that was super cool. Uh, when I was there, I was speaking to Bill Lapter about, you know, how I'm a fan of Jushin Liger, and I liked uh, Bill Lapter's attempted interview with Jushin Thunder Liger. I thought it was uh, it was good, a little funny as well, but um, I thought it was a pretty good interview, uh, good attempted interview, so to speak. And um, you know, having mentioned to Bill after that, you know, I'm a huge fan of Liger. I love After's work as well. After put me on the spot uh, for an interview slash promo about Jusha Thunder Liger. You know, as I mentioned, I'm from Philadelphia, so he was like, you know, pitting me against Liger if we were to have a match at uh, the Wells Fargo Center, which was an amazing way to put me on the spot. Uh, all in all, it was a really great experience. So, Bill After, thank you for the interview slash promo, Jusha Thunder Liger. Uh, nothing but respect, nothing but respect for the both of you. So it was an amazing time, an amazing weekend, and I hope you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe, D Prime 215. And it's just too 